Hi, this is Jason here from WA Building Movers. Today we're going to talk about what you need to apply for a grant. Uh, just some basic information that when you do go forward and apply for a grant, the, the information that you need to have prepared uh, for you to have your full application ready to submit. Uh, just in general, of course, your name, you need to have your social security number, the address where the damage occurred, and also the address that is your primary residence. Uh, this is a key sticking point, as in the grants for a lot of these programs are only available to primary homeowners on the front end, and sometimes there is applicable programs that will be available for uh, maybe a rental property or a second home. Uh, past that, you will need to reply and uh, provide your telephone number, an email address, uh, your insurance information, a uh, bank account, uh, basically uh, your routing number, just if they were to basically have a grant uh, be available for you uh, to be able to send it over, and uh, lastly, a description of the damage. A lot of these programs and a lot of the work coming up is that if you are substantially damaged, meaning your property is damaged uh, more than 50%, uh, that triggers a, uh, another ratio and another level of improvement that needs to occur on your property, uh, basically to meet the, uh, the FEMA guidelines and uh, also uh, map out how to dictate what kind of federal funding will be available for you. Again, this is Jason from WA Building Movers. You can reach us with any other questions at info at wabuildingmovers.com. Thank you.